ever wondered how researchers identify risk factors for rare diseases? Let's explore case control studies with Dr. Saar, a family physician. Dr. Saar notices some of her patients have a rare heart disease and wonders if smoking plays a role. To investigate, she identifies two groups, cases of patients with the rare heart disease and controls healthy individuals. She then looks back at their past habits to compare exposures. Did cases and controls have different risk factors? Case control studies are useful for rare diseases, quick, low cost. Plus, they have low loss to follow up. But they have limitations too, they can't confirm causality, and if controls are chosen from hospitals, they might not represent the general population leading to selection bias. Plus, we often don't know which came first, the disease or the exposure. Unlike cohort studies, which track people over time, case control studies start with the disease and look backward. In short, they help identify risk factors, but don't establish cause and effect. Want to learn more about research? Like and subscribe for more.